uh, Admiral Jan de Beurne, the chief of the Belgian Navy. I'm feeling very, very happy, of course. Uh, this is a brand new ship which has been uh, in the water since, uh, since this morning, which is absolutely great. It's the first ship of a batch of 12 uh, with a complete new concept of uh, mine warfare. Uh, not only the platform is very impressive, but also the tools uh, which will be included in the toolbox, sensors and weapon systems. And that will allow us to, um, to apply a complete new concept in mine warfare where the platform and the crew can stay outside the minefield. And that's a big, big step forward. We are, absolutely, we are. Um, the first uh, rock we had to jump off was the, the, the change of concept. Are we ready, from a technological point of view, uh, to change our concept, which means that to stay out of the, mi out of the minefield? Are the drones, are the sensors and the weapon systems uh, mature enough from a technological perspective to be engaged at a distance? Because you cannot forget that the distance between the minefield and the platform will reach up to distances up to, to 20 nautical miles, which is absolutely uh, huge. Uh, I'm very confident uh, that together with the industry, together with the research centers, with universities in Belgium, but also in the Netherlands, we will uh, keep on maturing the uh, sensors and the weapon systems even more, and that we will remain on the uh, cutting edge uh, from a technological point of view. I'm Lieutenant Commander uh, Renaud Hock. I'm the project leader for this uh, MCM program, so the replacement of the MCM uh, capacity for both Belgium and the Netherlands. So it's a totally different concept of operation. The flower class is using on the minefield, uh, chasing, uh, hunting the mine on the minefield. Tomorrow, uh, with those ships and those tools, we will hunt and uh, sweep the mine uh, at a standoff distance, so really far from this platform. So we will deploy first the USV, unmanned uh, surface uh, vessel, with other type of drones, and also the UAV, unmanned aerial uh, vehicle. And those drones will hunt and uh, sweep the mine, so not the mothership. So it's a different way of, uh, of doing so. And why we are doing uh, that is because the current capacity, and it's, um, it's been used worldwide mostly, uh, we are entering the minefield with small ships. Uh, tomorrow, uh, with larger ships, we are able to have a longer autonomy to sail uh, faster and to execute other type of mission. This ship will be able also to help in maritime assistance, maritime security. So we covered a number of shortfalls by doing, uh, by executing a new concept of operation and we are really changing the way uh, MCM warfare is, uh, is done uh, today. So it's, this vessel is still a dedicated platform for mine countermeasure. Uh, it's a, a ship transported drones, but dedicated to MCM. So it has special unmounted sonar, degaussing system, and apart from that, it has also a weapon to be able to operate in hybrid environment uh, against hybrid threats. And so it has also a gun, 40 mm guns, and remote weapon system. So it will be able to defend itself and to operate uh, in the, the threat of, of today. Uh, so the next step for the program uh, today is the launching. Uh, at the end of 2024, uh, this ship will be delivered to Belgium, yeah. but up until uh, so we have to so two years. This year is the focus on the uh, test of the toolbox because the toolbox should also be integrated on the, on board of this ship, and, and then the test of uh, the platform. But we also will have the first delivery of the first version of the simulator. We have a simulator uh, at the end of uh, this uh, year and the setting to work of this platform this year. Next year will be the training of the crew and the final test before delivery of this ship with his tool. Uh, my name is Jean-Michel Rosco. I am in charge of uh, anti-mine warfare warship uh, direction within uh, Naval Group. So Naval Group is in charge of uh, the overall uh, prime contracting of this uh, program associated with uh, Excel. Uh, Excel is in charge of uh, 
everything which is uh, dealing with uh, uh, design and production of the of the tools, uh, toolbox, I would say all the drones. And Naval Group is in charge of this prime contracting. And beyond that, we are also we are also um, uh, responsible for the overall. Uh, design, global design of the of the warship and global architecture of the warship. When our sister company, uh, Carship, uh, who is a joint venture between uh, Piru and Naval Group, is uh, on, uh, responsible for um, the detailed design of the warship and all the production of, the, of those 12 warships, six for uh, Belgium and six for uh, the Netherlands. Uh, you and we uh, know that uh, the three countries uh, stated officially during your naval uh, last October um, their intention to cooperate on this uh, project. So as far as we know they are uh, working on it and they are still uh, elaborating uh, the official agreement. So this should be coming soon. Uh, of course uh, we, will, uh, uh, we will be extremely pleased to uh, to welcome friends uh, on board. The intention of uh, friends is to uh, produce uh, six uh, additional uh, uh, warships for uh, French uh, for French Navy, and of course, I mean those uh, warships. Uh, uh, if uh, should friends decide to join this uh, already existing cooperation, uh, uh, friends uh, will benefit of the existing design uh, to make uh, uh, a kind of. Uh, adapted uh, warship uh, adapted to, to meet the French uh, requirements.